Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today, don't be too shocked, but I have been sewing. Yes, I have two dresses to show you, not one, but two. And uh, I'm gonna save the knitting for next time, but I did wanna show you what I'm wearing. This is the first sweater I've ever knit for an adult. And actually it's not for me, it's for Audrey. Um, but it does fit, so I'm gonna show it to you. Voila, it is a sweater, it fits me. Um, it's probably a little smaller than I'd wanna do for myself, but it's meant for Audrey and Audrey can wear an extra small now. So this is an extra small, simple raglan sweater. I made it with my knit crate, um, my knit crate, it has Stellina in it. I don't know if you can see that it's a little bit sparkly. And uh, that was last month's knit crate. So I'm really excited. I think you might've seen it in a previous one. Um, so I followed Wendy Bernard's My First Seamless Sweater on Blueprint. And I totally recommend that if it's your first sweater and you wanna have a little support along the way. You can see I did end up with some Kind of, you can definitely see where this one, you know, where I started the new skein. Um, but again, it's for Audrey. It was really kind of for practice. And I have to say overall, hey, it looks like a sweater. <laughs> so yes, when she gets home, she can try that on and I'm sure she's gonna love it. Um, it feels really soft and lovely. I'm not even wearing a t-shirt under this. Other than, blah, blah, blah. I'm not even wearing a t-shirt under this. It's right up against my skin and I really love it. So we are actually sitting in my bedroom right now, which is pretty much empty because um, our house is off the market, but we decided not to move our entire bedroom back downstairs because it had all been moved upstairs. And so uh, this, this room is pretty much empty. So I thought it's in front of a great big window. And the thing is, it's been so dark and gray, you guys. Like every day has just been gray, gray, gray. And so it's been really tough to shoot any kind of video. I know I started Vlogmas, <laughs> crickets. Uh, and then I stopped Vlogmas because I, number one, vlogging is a lot of work. Um, and I, I don't mean to say that in like, I, you guys aren't worth the work. Um, I mean that more from a point of view of people who vlog on a regular basis, props, man, because that is a lot of editing. And just, I don't know, I don't feel like my life is that interesting to be able to every day have something to show you. So I saw some people are doing a weekly Vlogmas and I think next year that's something I'll do. So I'll definitely put up one more Vlogmas-esque type videos um, in the next little while. But really on a daily basis, I just really struggled to find anything that you guys remotely would be interested in watching. So I'm gonna stick with the sewing because I think that's what you guys really wanna see. So I got some of my sewing stuff back from my space. I told you guys that. And, uh, and actually we went back again and I brought back a little bit more. So my sewing space now is upstairs and it's, it's all good. Um, I'm definitely missing some stuff and I'm actually missing the printed patterns that I have that are already cut out. Cause I find tracing and cutting and printing patterns sometimes takes the most uh, brain effort in terms of just getting yourself motivated to do it. But once it's done, then um, I'm much more likely to re return to much used patterns, tried and trues. So I found a new tried and true, and it is this pattern here. It is Vogue, it's a Tracy Reese pattern, Vogue 1314. And this is a pattern for a dress that is knit. So there are ruched sides to this, and I like that because it gives me a little bit of coverage over my belly, which is just a part of my body that I don't particularly, you know, want to show off. And so I love the idea of having something that's a little ruched across the front. And I made two of them. The first one I made is this one here. And I made this in a navy scuba. It is a very soft scuba. Like I wouldn't have even thought it was scuba if it hadn't been labeled that way. And I got it at Fabricland. Um, I've made it a little bit extra long. The reason for this is I wanted something that looked kind of smart, but was warm and cozy and very secret pajamasy. So I'll put in some pictures here that I took on the porch yesterday when we did have a little bit of sun. And the only thing is that I misplaced the instructions. <laughs> Uh oh, and the neckband was a little weird, and I don't know if maybe it wasn't supposed to be a neckband. It almost sit like you can see that it definitely sits forward-ish. It almost looks like a, I don't know. It, it almost has a shape to it that, but it's not what's in the picture. So I think I've done it wrong. When I'm wearing it, I do, it doesn't bother me, um, and I have enough fabric to recut the neckline and do it again should I feel the need. But really this was about something that I could put on that if I was say going to a friend's house or 
you know, out to lunch and I want to feel a little less schleppy, but I still want to be warm and cozy. This is it. So very happy with this. And I actually think too that you could cut it off and have it be like a tunic length or even like a long shirt length. And I do have enough of this fabric left over that I'm going to do something else with it. Either this or maybe a toaster. So my toaster sweater is still in storage, but I do have a PDF copy and um, that's put together on my window downstairs where I normally shoot. And I will be making that again. So I wonder if maybe this would be a really nice toaster. So then yesterday came around and I had the second of my three shows that I'm doing and the dress that I wore last week I did really like. I'll put in a picture. Um, it is, I did not make it. I bought it about six years ago I want to say and uh, I can fit into it but only just. Like it's snug and when you're singing you have to be able to breathe <laughs> um and so I, I thought you know what i'm gonna make something that is more comfortable to sing in and i had this and i came across this really cool fabric at fabric land oh sad story my fabric land is closing <sighs> My fabric land near me is closing in February. I'm so sad and I'm really sad for the people that work there because I know how much they they really count on it. So such a bummer, fabric land. Anyway, I did buy some fabric there yesterday and this, if you can see it close, is actually a faux snakeskin, faux suede snakeskin or snakeskin faux suede, however you want to say it. And snakeskin is very in right now. And actually, I do have some of this left, and I might go get another half a meter and maybe make a jacket. I think this could be a very cool jacket. Um, so I thought this was a way to be a little trendy. Um, clearly, this is not something I'm going to wear on a daily basis. But I just decided yesterday to make it. And so the neckband went a little better. Still not perfect. Actually, when I'm wearing it, I turn it to the inside. Well, I'll put in some pictures and you can see. I turn it to the inside, I tack it down. I need to find those darn instructions and uh, and find a way to make it work because it didn't look neck bandy to me. Um, oh, this one too. So this one has the sleeves and actually I set the sleeves in flat because I didn't want to fuss with set in sleeves with knits. So I did these flat and it turned out just fine. And then when I went to cut this one, I was like, well, do I want to you know, have sleeves and I did cut the sleeves. It wasn't until after I cut the sleeves that I went, you know what, I'm not gonna be wearing this very often. It's more of a party dress, an event dress. Do I really wanna have sleeves? And so I didn't bother with the sleeves. I cut down the, the sleeve opening a little bit. I've left it raw in that sort of um, laser cut style that's quite trendy right now. I can always finish them later if I feel like it. And I also left myself a slit in the side right here and I did that because I realized that I was gonna have a tough time getting up and down off the stage without a little slit in the side so two fairly different dresses but both the same pattern both super super quick um, this ruching on the side is re a really nice thing to have and yeah I really enjoy it so yes two dresses from the same pattern in one week both highly usable and let me tell you this too for an evening dress very comfortable like this fabric is very soft and buttery and they actually had it in different the same snakeskin pattern they had also in pink and I think in cream as well so I don't know that I need another color of it but um, if you happen to be wanting to head to fabric land um, they do have that so now that my sojo is back, next on the docket is a pair of leggings because uh, I'm, I'm wearing jeans all the time and my husband is like, why are you constantly wearing jeans? <laughs> I'm like, well, why are you constantly wearing jeans? But whatever. Um, so, and I mean, jeans aren't the most comfortable thing. I'm not doing it just for him. But at the same time, you know, I'm like, yeah, you're right. I do wear jeans a lot. What else can I wear in the winter that is still warm and cozy? Because you know, those are my two priorities, warm and cozy. So I downloaded a free leggings pattern off the internet. And it's just, I think if you just Pinterest cozy fleece leggings pattern, it's a free pattern. Now the lady who made the pattern is five foot one. So I'm gonna to have to lengthen it a little bit. I could measure myself and do leggings. I could download the Avery leggings. Of course, there's all sorts of things, but that just seems like the simplest way to get from A to B. So I have that printed out and I'm gonna make some leggings, maybe a couple pairs of those. Um, I have my toaster ready to go. I'm gonna make at least one or not two of those. So I'm really looking forward to getting those made. Um, I will be back very soon with an update on my knitting because I have been doing some knitting and have a few more things to, to work on, but I am really, really pleased 
goodies with this sweater. If you wanted to give Knit Crate a try, I do have a referral link below for 20% off. Um, there's no commitment, so I love the fact that you can kind of just try it and get some great yarn and then decide from there. That's really how I started with it, and I was so impressed when I got my first set that um, I have continued with it along the way. All right, you guys, I am off. I have a show tonight. I will record some of that for you and show you next time. If you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. Lots and lots of sewing coming up in the new year. Okay, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.